Hello again. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. Now this is the Bright Star Flip Mirror. Now as many of you may be aware, um, there's quite a few pieces of Astro equipment that are, are exactly the same uh, with a different name on the side. This is actually identical to the Orion Flip Mirror. Uh, the reason being that these are actually manufactured by Bright Star, uh, who are a Portuguese company, and Orion just simply rebadged them. If you can find the original Bright Star version, they actually usually come in a little bit cheaper than the Orion version. Um, you know what's in a name uh, now the main agent for, in the UK for Bright Star is Modern Astronomy and I will put a link up to those um, shortly um, so let's just have a look at what it's like out of the box well firstly it comes with um, a normal nose piece that allows you to slot this into a into a scope focuser on the top we have an eyepiece holder that has quite a nifty little helical focuser there so that you can parafocalize it and on the back we have a T connector so with a T well a T thread with uh, a locking ring on it which allows you then to orient the, the camera in the in the flip mirror. Now also with this particular one it's got a it's got adjustment on it. You can actually collimate this this flip mirror, uh, meaning that you can set the central field of view to an eyepiece and a camera, uh, which is quite handy. And that's done by we have a grub screw here on the bottom that in effect alters the, the tilt of the mirror, giving you adjustment in that sort of plane. Now also on the top we've got some screws and they serve a dual purpose. They help to sort you can tension the, the tension of the adjustment on the mirror, but also by varying that you can also put a degree of tilt in the mirror, uh, which gives you the sort of side to side orientation, which gives you really a full collimation of the mirror. Uh, as I said, you can also you can tension the lever on this. The, the lever goes all the way through. It comes out on both sides, and you can just set that to your preference whether you prefer a, a floppy one or a stiff one. Um, so when we come to fit this on a scope, normally um, if you've got sort of a, a smallish refractor uh, or most other sorts of telescope, you can usually remove a lot of the the stuff from the back end um, where the the eyepiece holder goes and everything. Nine times out of ten, you'll reveal um, a T-thread, or there will be an adapter that fixes onto your onto your draw tube on your focuser that gives you a T-thread. Now, what we can do then is, if we take the Bright Star flip mirror, you can unscrew that nose piece, and then that allows you to screw the flip mirror directly to your scope. Now normally, the fitting on your scope will also have some sort of a locking ring, which means that you can orient the flip mirror to being straight up. Uh, on this one we have sort of a little, very tight locking ring there, like so. means I can orient the flip mirror and just lock it up. Like so. Next, we want to fit our camera, which you you know you might have something like this, and again you can screw that onto the back end. Now, also you can get an adapter that will fit on this back end, that will uh, be like a focuser attachment, a second focuser attachment, if you like, uh, that will allow you to slot a webcam in there. Um, you know, if you've got a webcam with a nose piece that normally would fit into a focuser and doesn't have a T thread. Now, again, you can orient your camera simply by adjusting the locking ring that comes on the flip mirror like so so that everything's completely locked up then all you need to do is to slot in a suitable eyepiece so in goes your eyepiece tighten the eyepiece up and then of course we've got the helical focusing so that you can match up obviously the focus of your camera uh, you obviously you would focus your camera by using your telescope focus and then fine tune the focus on your on your eyepiece using the helical focuser so it's it's quite a nice little uh, addition to the the old package that um, now what do you use it for well there's a few things um, if you're into planetary and you're using a, a camera that's got a fairly tight field of view 
uh, you find that you're searching all over to try and just, you know, get the planet into into your camera's field of view, and you can be there for sort of half an hour, you know, up, down, left, right, can't find it. Um, with this, obviously, you just put a wider field eyepiece into the eyepiece section, and have a look through the center in that eyepiece, and you know that it's then going to be centered on your camera CCD. And obviously, you would then, you know, sort of flip your mirror to camera view. Now, this is a really common sort of uh, mistake people make with flip mirrors. It's really easy to sort of have your mirror down and be looking through and find your planet, and then you're wondering why you've got no image on you on your camera. Um, you just make sure that you don't forget to flick the lever, you know, over to the camera view. You can only sort of use one view at once. And it's just a really, really handy tool. I'm really happy with it. I have used it a few times now. And I use the Skywatcher um, guide scope adapter. This one is normally got my uh, my ST80 on it. And it means that if I'm if I'm sort of guiding on a subject that hasn't got a particularly nice bright guide star next to it, I can make my adjustments there, but I can look through a wider field eyepiece and nine times out of 10, I can see something sort of off to one side somewhere. I think, you know, that's a really good one. Move up um, using my, my adjuster, my adapter um, to get it centered and then just flip into camera view and I'm happily guiding then. So the overall quality of the of the, the products, you know, the, the flip mirror is, is quite good and I'm, I'm really very happy with it. So it's just a little bit of a recommendation there and a, and a look at lip flip mirrors if they're not something that you're familiar with. And that's basically it for this one. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching. I will reveal for you a T connector. Now, if we take the bright star, like so and without dropping anything and we take off this nose piece oh god